Hello friends, good to see you again. I wanted to take a minute to talk about removing the teacher from the teachings. So there's a couple major points. I'm gonna break them down into first the bad news and then second, the good news. So bad news, the mailman teaching. You, uh, Yogi Bhajan is just the mailman. So the mailman does not write the mail. The mailman does not decide what kind of information is set up. The mailman is just an empty byproduct, like uh, the, the mailman just delivers. So Yogi Bhajan was doing a lot more than delivery. He was creating how you look at yoga, what you think the goals of yoga are, how, what you think yoga is used for. So anyone in 3HO, they probably have specific ideas of what the system of yoga is used for, which is very radically different than what anyone else is teaching. So that's to be taken into account. The mailman teaching just, it really falls apart because Yogi Bhajan auth authored what the Kriyas are for. It was a very prescriptive approach to yoga. We don't see such a heavy prescriptive approach to yoga anywhere else, including in Ayurveda where we're working with the medical system. It's more nuanced than just you do X, you get Y. So all of those things need to be questioned. One thing I would suggest, and I've suggested this in my last video, a way to actually look with the Kriyas, look, work with the Kriyas if you'd like to, is to look at them from the light of Ayurveda and from Western anatomy and see what actually pans out. And you could also use psychology as well as another method to are these valid practices or not. I'm not trying to say that everything Yogi Bhajan taught is not practical. I'm just saying that his his authority on all of the practices is absolute in the community and there's no peer review. And since there's no lineage, and not that there always has to be a lineage in yoga, but in his case there's not, and so there's no teachers to lean back on. So this gets to my next point, other than the mailman teaching. So if you're Buddhist, or if you're in a regular yoga tradition and your teacher has problems, your teacher has a clearly defined teacher and you can lean back on that lineage of teachings that's been going on for thousands of years. In the case of Yogi Bhajan, it's very difficult to know what's made up and what's not made up. So it makes it very difficult to then say, uh, we're, we're gonna remove the teacher because there's nothing, there's for the, I don't mean to say there's nothing because there's lots of things in Yogi Bhajan's teachings that do relate to classical Hatha Yoga, which is Kundalini Yoga. We need to get that straight. And, and then also some of the research people have been doing about people Yogi Bhajan was learning from. So we can look back to those teachers. But as far as his, his absolute authority, it does need to be really reevaluated. And so some good uh, peer reviewed scholarship from an Ayurvedic view and from a Western view could also um, help to deal with this lack of lineage that we're dealing with in the case of Yogi Bhajan. And the absolute authority, like this Kriya is for that, we need, to, we need to really look more deeply at why these things are being said. And for myself, I didn't find that a lot of those claims worked or were true, and they don't work for anyone because yoga is per the individual, and you need to custom tailor things. So you can't just say, everyone who has X problem needs to do Y. Um, medicine doesn't work like that. Uh, body work doesn't work like that. <laughs> Physical therapy, none of it. It's a, you need to be very specific about what your assessment is per individual and then move from there, not just a book that says this is for this, this is for that. So when I followed that, it didn't work for me and it caused complications in, in many ways and wasn't good for my sadhana. Glad I moved on. So that being said, I think there's a lot of good pieces that could be taken for people who want to do that work. And I support people who want to do that work and my words and, and my, my intentions. So the mailman teaching doesn't work. Um, we need to figure out what are the bigger teachings that Yogi Bhajan took from, classical Hatha Yoga, and uh, taken from Buddhist traditions or his teachers and know those things directly. And then we can base authority about what he said on those things and marry those things. So now the good news is, so I was thinking about doing this video and then I went to a sing with some friends that none of them are yoga practitioners or not very serious yoga practitioners. And we were doing um, just beautiful songs in English, singing together. And then one of the people said, let's sing, I am bountiful, blissful, and beautiful. <laughs> and they said, oh, this artist does it. And uh, Bajan, Bajankar? And they looked at me and they're like, how do you say her name? I said, Bachankar. And I, I know Bachan, we used to play music together when I was in 3HO. And, 
Butchin's a great person. And it was, it was so nice to sit down and sing this beautiful, I am bountiful, blissful, and beautiful. And Yogi Butchin probably made that up. Um, he might have gotten it from somebody else. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a really beautiful teaching. And it was really heartwarming for me to be there with all these people who don't know anything about all the stuff that's going on in the international 3HO community. And they've heard this beautiful recording. And we're there singing it with each other and celebrating that beautiful teaching of being bountiful and blissful and beautiful. So that's the good news. And Yogi Bhajan did do a lot of good things with a, and shared a lot of positive things. It was the inner circle that seems to be very problematic. And I'm not here to analyze Yogi Bhajan's abuse. I just wanted to talk about enjoying some of those beautiful teachings if you'd like to, and then how to find a systematic way to look at what's going on with how it can trace back to lineages. Some of that's already very obvious. We don't need to do a ton of research. And then also the mailman, the mailman thing has got to go. That was, has been used for a long time to justify Yogi Bhajan's personal shortcomings and not really look critically at what's going on. So this is good. I kept this video under seven minutes <laughs> and I appreciate you sticking with it till the end. I hope these, my view on this is useful for you to think about how to frame these things. Thanks again for listening. Peace and namaste.